Okay, and in this class I'm going to look at the second part of question one from Thursday's class. Uh, for any quadratic function in the form 1x squared, notice the leading coefficient is 1, plus bx plus c, the sum of the roots will be, well, the sum of the roots will always be the opposite of the coefficient of x, which would be negative b, and the product of the roots will always be equal to the term independent of x here, c, at the end. Okay, so again, we've got the same function, f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus p, where p is between negative 3 and 8. It says find the value of p for which f of x has roots which differ by 3. Uh, so let's have a think about the root. Let, let's the smaller root equal some number. I'm going to call it a, which would mean the bigger root is equal to a plus 3. So I'm just defining a variable for my roots. And I know the sum of the smaller roots, which would be 8 plus a plus 3, has to be equal to the opposite of 5, negative 5. So I'm getting 2a plus 3 is equal to negative 5. Solving there, 2a will be negative 8, so a will equal to negative 4. So my smaller root is negative 4, which means my bigger root, a plus 3, will be negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So my roots would be negative 4 and negative 1. We haven't quite answered the question. They are my roots. Negative 4 and negative 1 are my roots. Okay, the product of the roots is going to give me p. So p will be the product of the root. So it's negative 4 times negative 1, which is 4. So if p is 4, uh, the roots of this quadratic function will differ by 3. 